Hey everyone, welcome to the Saltwater Weekly Update. Uh, lots happening here at Fishy Business as always. The biggest thing that's happening right now before we get into the saltwater fish are all the tanks that are in here. As I've stated in recent videos, uh, this is the time of year, March and April are the big times to buy tanks because it's when we're getting our best discounts and when we can offer our best discounts, other than Christmas, of course. So there is a lot in stock, and because of the glass shortage and the lack of tanks just across the whole industry, uh, Guy has kind of headed this off, and three months ago we were ordering tanks we were just hoping we would have now. And for the most part, we've got them. So if you've been in the market, if you've been looking for a tank in whatever size you've been looking for, there is a pretty good chance we've got it or it's on the way. This is the Saltwater Weekly Update and uh, we're going to get right into the fish. Okay, in the first tank here at Fishy Business, we have got the ever beautiful male Melanurus wrasse, probably one of the prettiest fish we sell. Uh, I love this fish for so many different reasons. Its ability to adapt to so many different situations. The amount of color and the lack of expense. This is a wonderful saltwater fish, highly adaptable to almost any type of tank. Also with the Melanurus or the Tiger Queen Antheus, these are great fish to have popping in and out of your rocks all over your reef tank. If you've got a decent sized tank, it's not necessarily a bad thing to kind of put a group of these in there as they as most anthea species do tend to do better in a larger group what else can i say about them they're just a great fish to have in quantity very peaceful and all around cool looking fish we tend to sell out of them as fast as i post the video but i have a couple this week uh the yellow mimic tank this is a beautiful beautiful fish in a mustard colored yellow that is also highly adaptable to almost any situation. Uh, because it gets a little bit of size to it, but because it is peaceful, it'll go in a community tank, but it can also work pretty well in a, in a bigger, more aggressive tank. Not suggesting you put it with a lot of aggressive fish, just saying that it is very adaptable in a lot of different situations. The beautiful fish that tops everyone's list is the powder blue tank. Uh, the pastel and the, the relaxed color grouping on this fish just make it a, a must-have with a lot of hobbyists. If you've got a little bit of experience, because I don't suggest this as a first fish, this can be a great fish. Uh, beautiful in every way, uh, peaceful, and just a gorgeous fish. A great fairy wrasse for a reef tank, uh, and very peaceful is the blue-sided fairy wrasse. Now, this is only going to work in a tank where you've got a very social environment, but it's a great fish nonetheless. Okay, so, the clown tang. This is one of the most beautiful tangs in the ocean. It is not a beginner fish, but when we can get one that's got a decent amount of weight on it, it's worth a try. This fish, as it gets bigger, only gets more beautiful. Uh, the yellow and blue stripes only enhance the, the, the body. Uh, if it comes in and it's readily feeding and you've got some experience with keeping saltwater fish, this can be a super cool fish. Okay, so the Firefin to Mini Tang. This is one of the hardiest tangs. This is one of the most popular tangs for a lot of reasons. It's a Tinakita species of tang, which basically means that it has kind of a V-shaped mouth that will kind of go from rock to rock, pulling uh, little bits of algae and detritus and things like that off it. Maybe not detritus, but algae for sure. Uh, it is a great adaptable tang to a tank, a tank where you have multiple tanks. So if you've got a blue tang or a yellow tang or a purple tang or any different types of species of tang, this one tends to work very well with other species. Everyone loves a tank of antheus. Uh, we've got a nice grouping of male and female liar tail antheus. As you can see, it's really cool to take a male, a pink male, and group it with a bunch of females. We have in this tank uh, two males and a host of females. Again, you can kind of crowd these if you have a decent sized reef tank without putting a heavy load on your reef tank. Some people love eels, and if you love eels, a snowflake moray has got to be on your list. We got three this week. Uh, not too big, not too small, but a really cool, beautiful, beautiful type of moray. So if you're in the market for a moray or you need something a little different, for that tank, this is pretty different. Not a fish you see too often, uh, simply because we don't have the option to get them too terribly often. The Harlequin Basslet, very, very cool fish. It's gonna hang kind of close to the reef. 
sometimes can be a little bit aggressive, but for the most part, a uh, statement maker in black and white. Uh, another really, really cool RAS that came in this week was the checkerboard RAS. I love RASs because uh, in addition to just being beautiful, they have so much personality. They have, there are so many different types of RASs that are so many, that's adaptable to so many different situations. Um, and this is a really cool one. Another fish that seems to go very fast every week is the Diamond Goby. Uh, diamond gobies are great just because they're a very hardy, long-lived sand sifting goby. I have a lot of these in service accounts. They have a lot of personalities and they, they tend to do a lot of burrowing. Uh, they'll move sand around and build their own little cavature uh, in your reef tank. Things very rarely tend to mess with them. They, other than defending their territory, tend to not mess with other things in the tank as well. So it's a great additional fish, especially to draw your attention to the sand. The most beautiful wrasse, in my opinion, that came in this week is the pintail wrasse. It is a super colorful reef wrasse, very hardy, very adaptable if you have a community type tank. Uh, great in a reef tank. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's, look it up. Its colors only get brighter with age. Uh, it has this really cool, almost spear-shaped caudal tail uh, that, that obviously the pin tail, uh, because it, it kind of replicates a uh, callig calligraphy fit the pin. I can't talk this morning. And uh, just the colors are incredible. Okay, these aero crabs literally landed from outer space. Uh, that's how they look anyway. And I've probably got six or seven all uh, in a big communal group in this 20-gallon tank. If you want something cool that actually will help you in terms of bristle worms, uh, this would be it. Cynogobius biosolatus, or the twin spot signal goby. This has long been a very popular goby in the hobby because it is a fantastic sand sifter. It does need a little bit larger tank just because of all the things it needs to get out of the sand to stay healthy, uh, but it is a really cool, cool goby. Excellent bicolor chromis this week. If you want some bicolor chromis to kind of school and shoal around your reef tank, uh, this is a good batch. Half black, half white. Just a really cool, different type of chromis to have in the reef. Okay, so that is a small fraction of what Reagan got in this week. We are getting, at least in these last two weeks, probably one of the best saltwater shipments in terms of variety that we've gotten in a very, very long time. There are a lot of fish and this is the perfect time of year to come check them out. Uh, the question for the week that I wanna tell you is what kind of eel did I show in the video? Uh, it has something to do with winter. Uh, so if you can find that, uh, go to our website, fishybusinesssc.com, punch in the answer and get a ticket in the contest for the $300 giveaway at the end of this month. I uh, wish you all a wonderful week. Check back here next week where we'll have hopefully a whole nother batch of things to show you. God bless and I'll see you soon.